Okay, so the next problem is how many even numbers are there in the range 1000 to 9999 having no repeated digits. So the solution is as follows. So we have uh, to find all four digit numbers from 1000 to 9999. Uh, which have no repeated digits. Okay, so here we we want to find all the even numbers. So we know that for even numbers, we make two cases. In the first case, we will take zero in the last place. And the second case, we will take two, four, six, eight are in the last place. I mean, the units place. So in the first case, when I'm having the four numbers, the last digit I'm going to fix to be zero. So there is only one way to do this. So the number of choices is only one. The first digit, that is I'm calling this digit alpha, this digit cannot be zero. So alpha cannot be zero, but alpha can be any one of the numbers in the set. Alpha can be one to nine. So this means that alpha has nine choices and once alpha is taken the next number beta we want the four digit number without the the repetition of the digits so this number beta cannot be alpha but beta can be zero so beta zero is allowed okay and therefore i will take beta from one two three to nine except alpha so i'm going to remove alpha from that set and now uh, these digits uh, i'm sorry i cannot take beta equal to zero because zero is already taken here so i have to remove zero also otherwise zero will get repeated so beta can be a number from one to nine except alpha and therefore this beta has only eight choices and the number, the third number, which is here, which I'm writing gamma, this number gamma can be a number from one to nine, except alpha and beta. Okay, and therefore we have only seven choices to choose the number gamma. So in the case one, the total number of ways to write a four digit number without repeating the digits and it is an even number with the last digit zero is nothing but nine into eight into seven. So this is the answer for the first case. Now for the second case, what I have is I will take the last digit to be either two, four, six or eight. So here I'm calling this number alpha. So this alpha can be any one of these two, four, six and eight. And therefore, how many choices are there? I can do uh, this uh, selection of alpha. So there are four ways to choose the number alpha. Once I have chosen an alpha, the first digit that I have to choose here is beta. This beta can be, uh, it cannot be zero, right? So beta cannot be zero because I want a four digit number. So beta cannot be zero, but beta can be one, two, up to nine except alpha because I don't want the repetition in the problem. So this beta has how many choices? This beta has eight choices. Once I've chosen beta, and now I'm going to choose the next number gamma. Now this gamma can be zero because now zero is not taken in the last place, right? So gamma can be any person from the set zero up to nine, except the number alpha and beta both i don't want alpha and beta both to occur in the second place and this can so these are total 10 digits and i'm going to remove two digits so the total number of ways to choose the number gamma is again eight choices the last number i'm going to call the third number i'm going to call delta this delta can be a number from zero to nine because delta can be zero but i don't want alpha beta and gamma all three people to occur in this place so i'm going to remove alpha beta and gamma 
so the total number of choices is how much these are 10 numbers and these are three numbers so the total number of choices will be seven choices so in the case two the number of ways to do this type of uh, selection of a number is nothing but eight into eight into seven into four therefore by case one and case two i can now say that you can either choose a number which is having a zero at the last place or you can have a number which is not having zero at the last place so by the addition principle we conclude that we have to add both the answers now so the total number of ways even numbers with four digit repetitive without repetition will be first answer was nine into eight into seven plus the second case answer was 8 into 8 into 7 into 4 okay so this will be the answer for this question okay okay so the next question is find the number of three digit numbers that can be formed using the digits 1 2 3 4 where repetition is not allowed but the three digit number must contain a 3 so we want a three digit number so i'm making three boxes here Okay, and we want the, the digits not to repeat. The digits available to us in the problem are 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we don't want repetition. So no repetition is allowed. And the number 3 must occur. Okay, so the number 3 is a compulsion in this three-digit number. So we can now split this problem in three cases. The first case is that we will write a 3 in the first position. Then the second case, we will write the three in the second position. And in the third case, we will write the three in the last position, the units place. So this will be the diagram for the three cases. Now let us look at case one. Once you write a three over here, the number of choices to fill up a number in the second box you have only three choices left because already three is out of the picture. So in the second box, you can fill either one, two or four. Okay. Once you fill any one of these numbers, the last box will have only two choices. So here you, I, I have only two choices. So the number of choices for case one is first digit is having only one choice. That is three. Second digit is having three choices. Third digit is having two choices. So the number of choices will be one into three into two ways for the first case. Similarly, for the second case, here you have three choices and here you have two choices. So in the case two, the number of ways will be three into one into two because this is the one choice. And in the case three, here you have again have three choices, two choices and here you have only one choice. So the number of ways in the third case will be three into two into one. So you can have any one of these case uh, in the picture. So the total number of ways in which you can do this, uh, handle the situation is uh, first is one into three into two, or you can write it as three into one into two, or you can write it as three into two into one. So which comes up to be 18, okay? Okay, so the next problem is how many four digit numbers can be formed by using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with repetition and which are divisible by 4. Now we all know that if we want a four digit number which is divisible by 4, the last two digits have to be, the last two digits have to be divisible by 4. This is the test of divisibility by 4. Now we have the digits available with us are one two three four and five right and we are also allowed to take the digits repeated so you can repeat the numbers so if we find the last two if you if you find the last two numbers which are divisible by four the entire number will become divisible by four so what are the last what are the options for the last two digits the last two digits can be what the last two digits can be either 12 it can be either 24 or it can be 32 it can be 44 or it can be 52 so all these numbers are what all these numbers are divisible by 4 
so the choice for the last two digits that we have is that you have your five choices it can be any one amongst these five number so last two digits have five choices what about the number in the first box you can choose any one digit amongst these five numbers because repetition is allowed so here you have five choices and in the second digit also you can choose any one number from 1 to 5 so here also you have what you have five choices so the total number of ways to have a number which is divisible by 4 which is a four digit number and the number of digits are 1 2 3 4 5 will be how much will be completely given by 125 okay okay so the next question is that how many bit strings of length 8 can be formed by using zeros and ones such that all the strings are considered if i so i will take a bit string of length 8 so i'm drawing eight boxes now So to fill the first string, I uh, first bit, I have two choices. I can either fill a zero year or a one year. So this has two choices. The second choice is also, uh, uh, the second bit also has two choices. I can either fill a zero or a one year and so on. So for every bit, I have two choices. So how many twos are there? You have taken two eight times. So the number of strings of length eight is how much it is 2 raised to 8 these are the total strings of length 8 by using the digits what by using the digits 0 and 1 okay the next part is that i want to find all eight digit strings which are having 1 1 and 0 this must be at the beginning okay so when i write down the string 1 1 and 0 in the beginning the remaining five bits can be anything. Here I can write either zeros or ones. Uh, so I so the fourth bit has two choices. I can have two, uh, zero or one and so on. So in each bit I have two choices. And in the first three bits has only one choice because I must have one, one and zero at the starting. So the total number of choices is how much the strings that begin with 110 of length 8 is how much is 2 raised to 5 by the multiplication principle. The third question is also very much similar to this. When I look that I must have strings which are beginning with 1, 1 and 0. And the fourth bit also has to be 1. So the remaining four places can be now anything so this can be done using only one way so it has only one choice and the next four people are going to have two choices respectively so the total number of ways that i can do this strings that begin with 110 and the fourth bit is one that can be done in how many ways that can be done in two raised to four ways two into two into two into two okay the fourth part is i want all the strings that do not begin with 110 but the fourth bit is how much but the fourth bit is one so i will write uh, i will make four uh, i will make eight length string here okay and uh, the fourth bit has to be one so this is having only one choice okay and this uh, the fifth bit onwards you can have two choices so this is two choices two choice two choices and so on Okay, and uh, here in the first three places, I don't want 110. Okay, we don't want 110 is not allowed. If 110 is not allowed, it means what is allowed? We know that using 1 and zeros, you uh, the length three strings that I can form is 000. Let me write all the strings here. Okay, 000, then let me write it like this 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. and here I have 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and then I have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 
Okay, so these are all the strings. These are all possible strings having ones and zeros that are that are of length three. Out of these eight strings, we don't want this string. We don't want the string one one zero. Means the number of ways that you can fill these first three places is how much? Will be seven choices are there. Correct. So the total answer for this question will be how much? The total answer will be seven multiplied by one multiplied by two raised to two raised to four. Okay, seven into two raised to four. That is the answer for the fourth question. So that the string does not begin with one one zero. Fourth bit is also one. The last question is is I want all the strings that begin with one one zero or the fourth bit is one. Correct. So here, if I want that all the strings should begin with the first string is one one zero, then here I have what I have five bits which has each one has two choices. So this will be how much? This is having one choice. So the total number of choices for having one one zero at the starting will be two raised to five. But and in the second case. Or I'm having or here. So the fourth bit has to be one, and all others can be anything. So here each bit has two choices, two choices, two choices, and so on. Here you have only one choice, and this is having also two choices. So the total number of choices is how much? Two in two is how coming? How many times? Seven times. So all the strings that begin with one one zero or The fourth bit is one is given by the addition principle, which will be given by two raised to five plus two raised to seven. Okay, so this completes the fifth part also.